Hey, Mike. Um, tell me about playing in that environment today. What uh, did did you guys feed off it, or what was it like to be in front of a crowd that loud? Uh, yeah, it was electric in there, um, especially because it was their senior day and they had so many seniors. Uh, it was electric from the start, from warm ups. We came out here and there was got to be like two thousand students here already. So it was it was a great environment. It was fun and. Honestly, it might have been the craziest crowd I ever played in, except for a few times at KU. Um, can you walk me through uh, the jump ball there you had? Were you and the Texas Tech guy both went for the ball? You kind of dropped your knees. We're kind of couldn't believe the they called. That. Could, yeah, I couldn't believe they called the foul there. What 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 happened? Why do you think they called that? Um, honestly, I don't know if I should say why. So I'm gonna just keep it to myself. But I mean, as Coach said, you guys can watch the video. Okay. And uh, is there anything you think you guys can do differently to win, start winning some of these close games, or more of them anyway? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I mean, it, it was. I I got to take ownership for my part. Um, I took two bad shots later in the game, and uh, it was just letting fatigue get to get to me. And um, when you're tired and you're in that environment, you just you want to do what's easy. But we we had we had them in foul trouble, so I should have done so. Then all of us should have uh, tried to get free throws at the end. And thanks, Mike. Thank you. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah, Mike. Did you feel the need to step up in uh, Marquise Noelson's tonight? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, Mar Marquise is the head of the snake. Uh, honestly, he brings life, energy, grit, toughness, everything to the game. So I definitely had to step up today, and uh, we all did. Um, but we felt we felt it. We felt his energy. We all felt, we all felt him, and really hope he could play Saturday and the rest of the season. Describe your halftime conversations when you guys go in down eight and you guys come right back out and. Get it tied at 40. Uh, just that we needed to calm down and stay poised. I mean, it was like we lost, like, it, it's crazy how fast we lost control just with in that environment. And we got down eight, and we were just like, if we calm down, play hard, and do and do what the coaches told us to do, we'll have a chance in this game. And uh, that's exactly what we did in the second half, but we did, weren't able to finish it. And how difficult of a cover will Warren and Williams uh, pretty much on a regular basis? Yeah, uh, they, were, they were a good one-two combo today. Uh, Williams, uh, he might be the best big man in the Big 12, so he's he's a handful. And um, Warren, it was his senior day. He came to play, and he made plays for them. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, go ahead, Arnie. Yeah, you mentioned senior day for Warren. You've got your senior day coming up now. Uh, I guess your second one, but uh, uh, any have you given that any thought or is that something that, uh, that's that been on your mind or will you be reflecting this week on it or uh, how do you how do you kind of go into that, that last no, game at Bramwich? Just, just going into it with a improvement and win mindset. Uh, it's been a long year. I've all out. My focus was on Texas Tech going into today, and I wasn't even thinking about Senior Day. And um, it, it's a special occasion. It's my last home game at Brandon's Coliseum, so it will be emotional just because I'm <laughs> five years, you know. But the most important thing is getting ready to get a win. Thank you. Go ahead, Grant. Hey, Mike, do you think this team is capable of pulling off a magical run to, you know, try to get your last ditch effort to get into the uh, NCAA tournament? Yes, I do. I definitely do. Um, we got everything we need. Um, I think last year was sort of like a mini version at the end of the season. I think we can get the real thing this year. Um, I think we got the players too, the talent too, the coaching, preparation, everything, everything needed. So. We're going to be real focused this week on Saturday, but mostly getting momentum to the rest of the season. Thanks, Grant. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Mike, 
to what could come. And then how key, you know, today specifically, how has Ish been um, down the stretch of this season, especially on that defensive end? Uh, Ish has gotten better all season long, honestly. And from the time he got here to now, like today, it might not have been his best numbers game, but it was his best game just because it was he played like a, like a winner today, and he played really tough, and he, he did what we needed. We needed, and it's it's good it's good to see him improve, and I think the sky's the limit for him. Thank you, Mike. Safe travels, man. Thank you. And that's all the questions we have for Mike. Appreciate everybody.